This video will focus on the virtual terminal portion of the IATS customer portal where you can process one-time credit card transactions, set up recurring transactions, manage your stored card details, and process batch transactions. Check out the other videos in this series to learn more about the different features of the customer portal. Let's begin with the single transaction page. Here you can process single credit card transactions. You have the ability to create a unique description and price using the quick item feature or select from a list of predetermined stored items using preset item. We'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Once you've selected your values, simply enter the credit card data and click process transaction. The system will automatically give you the result of the transaction. If the transaction is rejected, a list of reject codes is available here under help. Now we'll show you how to create saved descriptions and transaction values in the Sales Item Setup area. Simply click Add New Item, enter a description and price, and click Save. You also have the ability to edit or delete these saved sales items. Now you'll be able to access these sales items on the Single Transaction page. You also have the ability to select or deselect tax rates accordingly on the single transaction page. This is particularly helpful for taxable merchandise or service sales. To set up tax rates, go to User Profile and Account Setup. Next, we'll take a look at the Customer Database. This page allows you to create and manage IATS customer codes, which are tokens that securely store supporter or client payment details. If your account's recurring transactions are controlled by IATS, for example, if you're using an Aura donation form, then this customer database will allow you to edit or update those stored transaction details. If you're using a separate software system to manage your recurring gifts, Please contact IATS Customer Care for direction on how to proceed. Clients that are using IATS to manage their recurring gifts have the ability to update the schedule, turn recurring transactions on or off, update stored card details, and more. Here you have the ability to search by name, customer code, or account number. Additionally, a new feature we've added is the ability to sort your customer data in many ways, as seen here. A stored customer record can be edited or updated by selecting Edit. New customer codes can be created by simply clicking Add a new customer. Here you can enter your supporter details such as name, address, company name, and more. This area allows you to enable recurring payments and select the amount, schedule, day, begin date, and the end date for the recurring transaction. Payment information is where you'll enter the credit card or bank account details. In this area, you'll be able to see the last 10 transactions associated with this record. By clicking Create, you are securely storing these details and creating an IATS customer code associated with this supporter. As previously mentioned, you can search for this record and edit as you wish in the future. The Customer Database now includes an Import Customer and Export Customer List feature. Please contact Customer Care for more details on importing and exporting customer data. This concludes our overview of the virtual terminal and customer database in the IATS portal. As always, IATS Customer Care is available to assist should you have any questions. Thanks for watching and have a great day.